Hi, welcome to Core Academy of Science. Um, we have here today a new feature for you uh, called Fossil Focus. We're going to be looking at some of the um, replica fossils that we have here in the Core Academy collection, particularly those related to human origins, which is one of my favorite subjects. So today, on our first Fossil Focus, we have for you a replica of the very first um, fossil hominin found in Africa that is of scientific significance. This particular skull here is known as Kabwe, uh, also called Broken Hill. It was found by miners in Kabwe, Zambia. They were mining for lead and zinc at that mine. They were cutting through the limestone there and happened to come upon a cave that had been filled in with mostly clay. Uh, reports from the time indicate that there were plentiful stone tools and animal fossils. Uh, the earliest reports we have are from 1907 uh, and by 1921 that's when this was found. Now, being the earliest like this, we don't have all the kind of information that we would like to have from early fossils, right? So today we have very careful methods and techniques that paleontologists use to gather all the information they can from the context of the fossils. But since this was discovered by miners, well, they didn't really keep careful track of what they found. Uh, we can say um, that some of the material from the cave is pretty remarkable. There are bone tools that come from the cave, which is surprising. That's usually considered to be evidence of modern Homo sapiens. Uh, the stone tools uh, are sort of typical of the area. And the other remains, there were other human remains found uh, in the same area. It's not exactly clear from the descriptions exactly how they were found, but there was at least one leg bone and one arm bone that was discovered. And uh, those things appear to be very similar to modern Homo sapiens. Not exactly, right? Uh, but similar. The cranium here is remarkable. You can see, comparing to this uh, model of a Homo sapiens cranium, this guy has a rather pronounced, uh, what we would call a brow ridge, right? And in modern Homo sapiens, the forehead, the, the frontal bone here comes right out to the forehead and creates this, this massive forehead that we have. This guy, he did not have that kind of a forehead. You could also see that the, the brain case, however, is quite large. Uh, so this is not the kind of a fossil intermediate form that would be claimed to be evidence of human evolution where you have a very small brain case. This clearly has a really large brain case. So what exactly is the cobwe cranium? That's a good question. Now, some researchers have, uh, who have examined a lot of Neanderthal fossils and associated fossils have suggested that this thing, this skull, represents a form of human called Homo heidelbergensis. Uh, and it's named after uh, this. Uh, this is a model of the Maurer mandible discovered in 1907 near Heidelberg, thus the name Heidelbergensis, uh, and it is said to uh, share characteristics with uh, this skull, with uh, skulls from uh, a skull from Ethiopia called Bodo, uh, a skull from Europe called Petrolona from Greece, and uh, possibly even some Asian skulls. So there's a suggestion here that these all sort of group together to form this species called Heidelbergensis. And then the question is, well, what exactly is Heidelbergensis? So on an evolutionary 
tree, the suggestion is that possibly Heidelbergensis is the thing from which modern Homo sapiens and Neanderthals is, are supposed to have evolved. Uh, is that really what this is? Well, from a creationist perspective, I don't think we're looking at necessarily something uh, evolutionary like that. Um, I think this is this shares enough characteristics with what I know to be human from various other lines of evidence that I have. I'm pretty confident in saying that Cobway here is very likely to be human. The big question is, well, if it's human, then what's it doing way down there in Africa at such an early radiometric date? So the, the guesstimate, and this is really hard to do because we're not entirely sure about all the contextual details. All of that stuff was lost. So the best guess is that this is probably somewhere around 300,000 years old on the conventional radiometric timeline. Um, and that's considerably before the, the earliest signs of civilization that we see in uh, the Middle East, for example, or in Asia. So, yeah, so that raises an interesting question. What, is, what are people doing down there? And, and what does this mean for the Tower of Babylon? What does this mean for dispersal after the flood? Uh, and those are questions that we at Core Academy are really interested in pursuing and studying. And we'd love for you to follow us uh, on social media or our website or go to humangenesis.org to learn more about our work and uh, perhaps even help support us. Thanks for watching.